Good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Yuri Glickman. I'm researcher and project manager at Fraunhofer Focus in Berlin. So maybe you know what Fraunhofer is, uh, or maybe not. So Fraunhofer is the biggest European organization in Germany for applied research. We are about 22,000 of researchers and uh, engineers, and with annual budget about almost 2 billion uh, euro per, per year. And uh, so we have about 66, I think 66 now, research institutes around Germany and outside of Germany. And particular, my institute is in Berlin, and we are focused on IT, on communication systems, and especially on applying IT technologies for the public sector. And before I jump to Ocean Project, which is my favorite project, which I'm managing, I want to mention, because today is 14th of November, we are launching a new European initiative, or actually European Commission is launching it. It's called Cloud for Europe. It's a project to support European cloud partnership. So it's a project funded by European Commission with 10 million euros, which will be running or establishing pre-commercial procurement on cloud systems with the idea to help uh, public organizations around in Europe um, to understand what are the requirements for procurement of public or of cloud solutions for public services. Yes, yeah, so what are, I think, 11 ministries are involved in this project and 23 partners. So, very interesting initiative. And Nelly Cross is to, today is giving a speech in our premises as keynote. Okay, but now back to my, my smaller project. <laughs> so it's a small European project uh, funded by European Commission, it's a support action project, uh, uh, which purpose is to support uh, European projects, European collaborative projects, which are contributing to open cloud computing and providing some open source results, or better say maybe open licensed results. And our mission is to support also collaboration with Japanese uni uh, units because it's also strategic uh, purple goal of the uh, European Commission to do more research with Japan. We have uh, four partners in the project, and this project was really born by NOW2. So, it was created by OSCI initiative, and the idea was born in, in the initiative. And the first three partners are members of OW2. And the fourth partner is IPA, which is Information Technology Promotion Agency. Uh, it, this is a Japanese entity which has a special status to define uh, the IT strategies in Japan. And it's, I would say, it's kind of a door for collaboration with Japan because all people who are working in this agency have also positions in Japanese industry. Usually we are working 50-50. So basically it's a very good partner for us. And I just want to give you a brief overview of the services which we are providing. I guess you heard already from Cedric on the first day something about it, but I will repeat. So, And also Gabriele was saying a few words. So we are providing four basic services. It's a very small project. The first one, we, we are trying to create kind of catalog of available results from European projects, and not only European, national, and different kinds of projects uh, with open licensed results, which could be reused. The issue, as you know, in many European projects, we are reinventing the wheel continuously, and uh, the reuse of components and the results could be significantly improved. So we are trying to find these results, register them, and we also invite the projects to come to this small website and uh, register and uh, explain where results were. So the site itself is based on CCAN, which is now dominating platform in open data world. And we are trying to use these open data technologies for categorizing and collecting information or metadata, basically, about cloud computing. So it's, uh, it's very simple. Okay, this is just an example of how screenshot looks like. You are describing, basically, the 
idea of a result, like here, compatible one of a project, some basic information, and you can register some so-called assets, some kind of important documents, or links to repositories, or whatever. So you are very welcome to do it. So another service is ethics, which has been already presented, so I don't repeat to save time. But basically, we are evaluating the results, we are looking, testing them, and in this uh, next year, so now we are at the end of the first year of a project, we are going to do more hands-on work with the results to do some interoperability tests, maybe write some reviews on the software, publish them. It's kind of will be a look from as independent researchers looking on software, so could be interesting feedback. So this is what we will do. By third service, we are defining so-called open cloud interoperability framework and roadmap. So there are so many frameworks, as you know, <laughs> and roadmaps. And in our case, what is framework? So framework, in our case, we, are, we have our own reference architecture for cloud computing, which is basically architecture of, defined by ISO and uh, ITUT. Today it was, has been already mentioned by Microsoft. So we are working with Microsoft also by ISO to define it. And we are mapping the results of the projects to this architecture to understand uh, which functionalities are already covered and which are not. So basically better to categorize the components, where is their place, and if they are interoperable with each other or not, and which standards they follow or not. So our idea later to include this information in the directory. So, to, so the visitors of the directory could see the landscape of open cloud computing. Okay, and the last, maybe the most important, I don't know, the most important service which we provide, we are organizing plug fests. So our big event was in Madrid in September. It was called Op Cloud Interoperability Week, which we organized together with Cloud Blackfest Org, so basically with OGF, uh, SNIA, Etsy, Oasis, and DMTF. And we are planning to organize next events in the next year. And we had uh, at that event, many of you participated where I know, and uh, so where we had three types of uh, sessions. One was a workshop. We had very successful tutorials, which got many attention. So hands-on tutorials, I think, are very important when People can come in the room and learn how to use technologies so from the first hand, basically. It's very interesting. And third, we had uh, testing sessions organized by Etsy. Formal testing against the standards, which is, of course, a very difficult task, but we always try to stimulate you to do it. And Etsy is always ready to provide you support. So. We don't announce any date yet, but we are known from Cedric and Olivier that we are going to do something at a Cloud Expo Europe, probably in London, end of February. So you are also welcome to follow OW2 website and Ocean website. We will announce what are we going to do there. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>